uh, hi, so, <clears throat> I'm gonna just talk real quick about, um, trans things, I don't really do that, like, do you guys even know I'm trans, cause I did a coming out video, and I've done a few, like, uh, how to make a trans flag in Minecraft, but I don't, if you're new here, hi, I'm trans, if you have a problem with that, you can leave, um, this is a thing that happened, and it's not funny, it was transphobic, but I kind of find it funny just because of how uneducated this kid is. Anyway, so I was on Amino, it's an app, not a sponsored app, but it's an app, and I'm not going to say which Amino, because as uneducated and rude as this kid was, I don't want any harm to be done to him. Um... I do have screenshots, which will be on the screen, but I film all my videos on my camera, so I wrote them all down here. Here's the conversation. This kid randomly messaged me, never talked to him before. Boy or girl? And I say, boy, why? He says, a real boy. And I said, what does that mean? I'm not Pinocchio. Because that's Pinocchio. Jo I stole that from Sam Collins. Don't laugh at that joke. And then he says, someone who was born a boy and is a boy. So, I just immediately assume, oh, okay, this kid's uneducated, so I proceed to explain, you know, gender and stuff to him, and I sent him a Coco Kingsrod video about transgender myths. It's a very good video, link in the description. And, I was, and then he said, sure you have dysphoria and you're not doing this for attention? And I said, yes, absolutely. In fact, people who are trans get a lot of unwanted attention. It's like being treated like an alien when you're just a normal person trying to be himself. And then this kid sent, like, a, I think it's, I don't know what game it is, but he said, hold up. I said, what? Have you been diagnosed by a doctor? Now, I don't, I don't know if I have. I don't keep up with these things. I think I have, but I don't know. And, <laughs> and I said, yes. And he said, are you sure? T word. I said, yes. Oh, and that word is discriminate. <laughs> discriminatory. Please don't use it. I said, please. I wasn't real about it. And then this kid said, don't tell me how to use my words, fake boy. You're, you're kind of cute, too. too. Too bad your brain is too screwed up to think you're a boy and not a girl. It's a shame, really. And so I... I proceeded to report, block, and delete our conversation. Uh, and I still have the screenshots, which is how you saw that. <laughs> I find it funny. I find it funny how this kid messages me, asking a question. I answer him, and I give him explanations, and I try to explain something to him because I think he's uneducated, and he argues with me. All right, first thing, if you have that opinion, please don't come to me with it. I don't want to hear it. And if, it, okay, I, it's okay if you have different opinions. My, my personal opinion on this is that if you are against LGBT people, that's okay as long as you don't, as long as you aren't rude or rub it in their face, as long as you aren't outwardly doing stuff to be rude or to harm those people, then, then there's no problem. Just keep it to yourself. And especially don't message a person you've never met with your opinions, especially when they try to explain stuff to you, just keep it to yourself. The moral of the story here is if you have a different opinion, try to keep it to yourself, and if you can't keep it to yourself, at the very least, don't be rude or outwardly discriminatory to those people. Anyways, this is... This is I just felt like I had to make this video because... It, I find it funny, but it's not funny. I just find it funny how just the things, just random kids messaging me. And yes, I did report and block him and delete our conversation. Stay derpy, stay murphy, stay hydrated, and goodbye.